Today's video is sponsored by Dashlane. Dashlane does so much more than just simply create, save, or autofill your passwords. Dashlane also has the ability to automatically fill payment information, personal data, passwords, wherever you need them, across the web or any device. You can store an unlimited number of passwords and usernames and access them from anywhere. Rather, you have an iPhone, an Android, a PC, or a Mac, Dashlane will always be there to make things easier. No longer will you have to remember all of your credentials because you can simply all of the Dashlane data across all of your devices automatically. Plus, they offer a great VPN service to stay secure while you're browsing online. So what are you waiting for? I found it to be extremely helpful, and I think you will as well. You can try Dashlane for free on your first device by going to dashlane.com forward slash iDeviceHelp, or if you want to go premium, you can use iDeviceHelp promo code for up to 40% off your first purchase. Links will be in the description down below. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys my personal tips and recommendations to make your iPhone phone overall faster now this video has been highly requested so let's dive right in now the first thing i always recommend is heading over to settings icloud icloud settings and all of these options that you see listed here with all of these toggles mean that this iphone is constantly sending data to the cloud and from the cloud back to the iPhone. Now, when data is being sent back and forth, it's used in precious resources. It's also taking up iCloud storage and, of course, taking up battery as well. So, I like to turn off everything that I don't necessarily like to be synced to the cloud. For example, all of my pictures I like to save locally to a hard drive, so I turn that off. I usually never sync my pictures to the cloud. I never use the news application or the stocks application, so I turn that off, therefore, reserving uh, precious resources. We also have additional Apple apps, which I do turn off the ones that I do use, like the Siri shortcuts. I keep that on so they can sync between devices and the cloud. But other than that, I turn the rest off, as you can see there. And third-party applications, these apps normally have their own services and their own servers. When you log in, they already have your data, so they, they don't necessarily have to be synced to the cloud. So I turn most of these off, third-party applications that are being synced to the cloud, because I don't necessarily need that. So this is for three reasons. This is iCloud Storage resources is taking up right so you're going to save iCloud storage battery and of course performance because it's not syncing that data back and forth taking up precious resources from your iPhone so next I want to talk about face ID now face ID can also be made slightly faster on the iPhone so if we enter the face ID and passcode options you'll find an option called alternate appearance now this alternate appearance can serve two purposes number one you can set a second person to unlock this device or you can scan your face twice. Now scanning your face twice with Face ID means you have more data points in Face ID which allows your iPhone to be slightly faster when unlocking because it has more data points, it has more angles of your face and more data points means it can unlock your face for more angles therefore making it better and faster as well. So definitely recommend setting up an alternate appearance so you can scan your face twice for a faster face ID. Next I want to talk about the data download speeds. On iPhone 12 if we go to cell options, cell data options and data mode we now have a new option called allow more data on 5G. Now this will do several things. It'll download things a lot faster like music and podcasts, movies and TV shows to so your iPhone way faster on 5G and it also improves the video quality for FaceTime calling so you get full HD 1080p FaceTime calling a lot smoother a lot faster data and a lot better FaceTime calling on your iPhone for this next one I want to show you how to turn off iCloud data transfer when you're not connected to Wi-Fi entirely this will save the battery of your iPhone and of course precious resources for better performance so if we go to settings and we go to the cell options and we scroll all the way down at the bottom of the list this one a lot of users don't know about right here iCloud drive we can turn off the iCloud drive when not connected to Wi-Fi as I mentioned this will allow the device to only sync when connected to Wi-Fi. So if you want to save precious resources, that is definitely an option that I recommend turning off if you prefer to sync your data only over Wi-Fi. Now this next one allows you to turn off automatic downloads for software on your iPhone. Now this may happen when you're not even realizing that it's happening. So if we go to settings, general, software updates, and automatic updates, we now have two options. Download iOS updates in the background. You don't even know it's happening. And as we know, Apple nowadays 
is releasing a new software update it seems like every month or every couple of weeks and that's great because Apple continues to improve the user experience but if you don't want that software to download automatically in the background while you're doing other things and using precious resources you can turn that off and you can only download the software once you visit the software update section on your iPhone now this will take storage from your iPhone in the background because you don't know when that software downloads automatically so yeah definitely recommend turning that off if you're not necessarily interested on your iPhone downloading the software when it wants and last but not least one of the biggest battery drains on the iPhone is the iCloud syncing photos back and forth without you knowing whether you're connected to Wi-Fi or a cell network and if we go to settings and then we find the photos extension here in settings so photos here it is and we go to the cell data options here we have the cell data toggle right here now if you turn this off this will automatically only sync your iCloud photos when you're connected to Wi-Fi now I don't personally sync my photos to the cloud as I mentioned but if you do and you have this toggle on no matter if you're connected to Wi-Fi or the cell network this will constantly be transferring every single picture you take throughout the day to the cloud taking up precious resources making your iphone slightly slower and of course draining the battery as well so i highly recommend turning that off if you're okay with only syncing all of your pictures once you get home and connected to wi-fi and connected to a power source and that is pretty much everything i wanted to share with you guys how to make your iphone overall faster with better performance and better battery this one was requested here you go guys thank you for watching have a great day and i'll see you on the next one peace